Uh, speaking of breaking news, we're taking a live look now in New York City, where a federal indictment against Mayor Eric Adams, that has just been unsealed, 57 pages. The U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, that is Damian Williams, uh, he is set to hold a news conference where he, where he will be announcing what is being billed as significant public corruption charges against Adams. There are five that we know of right now. Mayor Eric Adams expected to speak any moment as well. Our team is currently going through that indictment. Again, 57 pages of five count indictment corruption charges on the basis of what we know right now, reading through it. Um, so we're going to get to that in just a moment. Thanks so much for tuning in to National Report here on the third hour. I'm Sean Kreisman. I'm Katie McCall. Not a dull day when it comes to uh, news right now. We have a lot going on. Uh, bribery, wire fraud, conspiracy, solicitation of six countries receiving improper benefits. Yeah, yeah, this is a this is a major deal here and something it, when you're going through this here again, this comes as the feds reportedly raided the mayor's home, Gracie Mansion, that is the mayor's mansion on the Upper East Side. Uh, Adams and his administration have been under federal investigation for months now. And this probe has included a wave of raids, subpoenas and even high level resignations within the administration. Seemingly so many a part of this administration jumping ship as they learn more, again, about this investigation and now what we know as this five-count indictment. One prominent Democrat in New York City, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, calling for Mayor Eric Adams to resign and others as well. And correspondent Christina Thompson is following this story for she has the latest joining us outside the mayor's mansion in New York City as this indictment has been unsealed. Christina. I am standing outside of Mayor Eric Adams' mansion right now. We were not expecting for this indictment to be sealed, unsealed so quickly. It was just unsealed about 10 minutes ago. I've been trying to go through it. It is 57 pages long, but we do know now, at least preliminary, what he's going to be charged with. He's been indicted on federal charges of bribery, conspiracy, fraud, and soliciting illegal foreign campaign donations. That's according to that federal indictment. Now, the five-count indictment, the first against a sitting mayor of New York City, as I was saying, was just unsealed, and it details the charges against him. Now, prior to this indictment coming down, uh, some sources, some reports were referencing some money that his campaign had taken from Turkey, the Turkish government, uh, which is illegal to do so. It's illegal to funny, funnel money into a mayoral campaign in exchange for something else. And what those reports are detailing is that it was in exchange for approval of the Turkish consulate in Manhattan. But those are uh, five charges right now that that indictment has gone over. Uh, again, we're seeing indicted on federal charges of bribery, conspiracy, fraud, and soliciting illegal foreign campaign donations. Uh, so that's conspiracy, fraud, and solicitation. Uh, again, we're waiting to hear right now at 1130, there should be a press conference uh, from some of those uh, from some of the law enforcement who has been investigating this case. There is a podium being set up behind me right now, so we're expecting to maybe hear from Mayor Eric Adams at this time. He said he's not planning to step down, but as you mentioned, there are some prominent Democrats now saying that he must, as this is not the first legal battle that he's facing, right? Over the past year, there's been several people within his office who have been investigated. They've been stepped down. He's had his iPad, his phone seized in the past year. So this is something that's been a long time in the making. And we're just now seeing, figuring out what exactly investigators have been piling up against him in this case.